there you go. Two of them now. Good god, there's two of them. Yeah, come on, use your knife combos, Ian! Fight the monsters! Fight the Silent Hill beasts! Yeah, that did very little damage. So in case you haven't pieced it together from our character's attire and general cadence, he is some sort of military man. Yeah, that's that's yeah. which is why a lot of this doesn't make any goddamn sense. Yeah. Cause like I said, you're so, like part of Silent Hill was that fighting your monster shouldn't have been that easy. But I digress. I'm gonna save my game. Yeah. This shit's gonna only get worse before it gets better. Oh boy. Will it ever get better? Oh god, no. <laughs> it has like one or two interesting moments throughout this entire game, and we're not gonna see them. <laughs> that's that's pretty funny. Yeah. Like, I'm not gonna front this, like, in the time we're devoting to this, we are not gonna get close to the cool stuff. Let's go this way. I think there's like maybe... Oh, oh shit, cutscene. What have I done? Uh, I'll let you decide. Rad roaches! Kinda. Yeah. There's like... There's like, you know, some kind of interesting boss fights you have later. <laughs> Creeper Reaper. Yeah. Mm. Like, uh, for example, there's one enemy, that, or one boss you're eventually going to fight named Asphyxia, whose entire, like, thing is that, um, you know, Silent Hill is a big thing about, um, how do you call it, uh, subtlety and representation and all that. And there's one character named Asphyxia who's supposed to represent a character... <laughs> A character who went missing and you find out she was strangled to death. And the bot, uh, yeah, just push X. There you go. And the boss's Fixia is this giant, like, terrifying, like, maggot monster with its, like, with a thousand hands wrapped around its neck. And the boss fight is you peeling the hands off its neck to kill it. Oh. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. It's, it's, I mean, it's one of those boss fights where it's like, Okay, you know what? This that's actually pretty cool, and I, I I like what they did there. That's about the only one I've ever actually said that for. <laughs> the rest in this game get progressively stupider. So we came from here. Recognize that fucking monster hole. That fucking goo hole. Toothy vagina. Yeah. I think if we keep coming back to this hallway, eventually more start spawning. More oh of those awful roaches. What a disgusting ass roaches. Don't forget, if you ever get lost, you can totally just check your map and it'll actually tell you what you have and haven't tried. No! No! I'm a man. I don't need no fucking map. Whatever you say, mate. <laughs> so here we see the haunted auditorium. Ooh. Ooh. But like I said, there's a bit, like, Silent Hill is a franchise I personally liked. Oh, hello. You gotta. Oh no, you're getting there. So, one of the. Like I said, there is some interesting stuff here. So, one of the interesting things here is that there's actually a theme with the enemies. And if you have. If you've been noticing a little bit, as you're fighting these monsters, the gashes you're leaving aren't so much like wounds. You're peeling the facade off. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, that's a bit of a theme about this character because, like, the theme, at least in this particular Silent Hill, is that for our. Character Marv here, nothing is as it seems. <laughs> and probably that's one of the most unique ways I've ever actually seen that represented. But it was handled better in a different game called Bayonetta. Where a very similar thing was happening as you fought monsters and they would kind of get peeled apart. But it was better. Here's the other half of the body from downstairs. I wonder who put it up here. Why does it matter? Yeah. Holding a key of something. <laughs> No, I'm just gonna leave the fucking key. Operating theater key. So now we gotta go down there and open the door you didn't even try. There was a door there. Apparently. I, I probably have to squeeze back through the fucking tooth vagina. I'm gonna tell you this right now, they never come down on you. The tooth vaginas? Yeah. 
They're just for spooks. <laughs> they actually... They I was actually honestly close. mad about that. They never actually attack you. Yeah, I should probably actually fucking read what that said. Can't get through here. The door is chained shut. You actually have to use the key. What? <laughs> yeah. Huh. Now, Silent Hill is an old franchise from the olden times. That said, this is one of those times they should have updated. The door is unlocked. Also, one of the cool things about Silent Hill aesthetically is that it's purposefully obfuscating what era the town exists in. Yeah, it's just kind of, like... Well, as you get... Like, you're not even in Silent Hill yet. Actually, what's dumb about this game is that you won't be going to Silent Hill for a while. You're in a neighboring town, which somehow Silent Hill has power over. Huh. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, I don't like you. Go away. And you're just like, ah, oh, jeez, it's, uh, it's me, your brother Mav. Mav. How do you, what do you want to ask him? How did you get here? Are you afraid? I don't give a shit if he's there or how he got there. Are you afraid of being here alone? Okay, so what he's drawing now is a is an old spook by the name of um, Christ. I've actually forgotten his name. Um. Uh, God, I forget. Robbie Rabbit. And Robbie is always, like, depicted as, despite being, like, he, he's, he's the mascot of a theme park on the waterfront at Silent Hill. But for whatever reason, in every game he appears in, while you'll always see images of him looking pristine as, like, a, a, a fucking mascot, yeah, you'll always find him, like, this desiccated bloody mess. Can't go that way. Uh, but yeah, you'll always find him as this bizarre, bloody mess of a character. And, uh, he, he does get used for a lot of spooks in the franchise. Anyway, Silent Hill has had power over other locations. Yeah. But that's usually for good purpose. In Silent Hill 3, for example, the protagonist of that game, a girl by the name of Heather, she was being haunted by Silent Hill from afar... Because she actually had a direct contact relationship with the town. Like, to make a long story short, um, the origins of Silent Hill has something to do with, like, the town worshipping Beelzebub and, like, trying to summon, like, new go- the Throwing up the horns for the- yes, actually. Throwing up the horns for the devil and trying to birth new god to purge all the sinners. Nah. Except- uh, their method of making New God always involved torture and pseudo-rape. So, every time they've tried to make New God... Yeah, here's Robbie. He always gets it rough. No. <laughs> so, every time they've tried to make New I God... I don't want to examine the fleshy anus and the chalkboard, but... Every time they've tried to make New God, it's ended Oh my poorly. god, reach inside? Would you put your hand in that? Uh, in that fleshy orifice? Uh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna fist this chalkboard anus. So how well do you think this is gonna go for I was gonna say, at this man? point, yeah, I was gonna say, yeah. at this point, Dude. I would be disappointed yeah. if something didn't grab me. And, like, you hear, like, the horrible noises on the other end. And yet, somehow, you're okay. And yet, somehow, the fucking rabbit is okay. He's not even bloody. You'd think he would be, considering, like, what you just plucked him out of. Yeah. Also, that's projecting things now. Onto the board. Nope, just a cockroach. Yeah, so that enemy is called the Swarm. Hmm. It's... very obvious. I was gonna say, it looks Dis like... It it's disappointingly obvious. Yeah, I was gonna say, it looks like it had some almost potential there. Yeah. And, like, that's that's the thing you'll find about this game, is that that's that's a word that gets thrown around a lot. It had potential to be spooky. Yeah. What the fuck am I even doing? Yeah, uh, you got the rabbit to try to coax the kid to let you in because he's a little asshole. Cool. Looks like I can't open it. Shit's locked! You don't say. Welcome to Silent Hill. Shit's locked. I don't even remember. No, he was in behind one of these jail cells, and you're like, Hey, kid, I got a rabbit for you. Hey, kid, I'm a computer. Stop all the downloading. I, here, child, I plucked this from the anus of a chalkboard. I thought you would appreciate it. You would have no idea what I had to do to get this <laughs> anus rabbit. <laughs> I want Robbie. 
I keep telling you. Don't it's put... moist. <laughs> oh my god, it is too. Why would you add that texture to it? <laughs> <laughs> he does not look pleased. He's like, get this fucking moist anus rabbit out of my hand. I was gonna say, look at this like fucking trailer shot. <laughs> You know what the worst part is? Mm. With that fucking trench coat and that hair color, he looks kind of like fucking Castiel from Supernatural. And that's just making everything better. Think of this guy as some kind of like half autistic angel reaching into chalkboard anuses to save rabbits for children. Half autistic is not incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, I'm not trying to be offensive. No. It's just like... You're not wrong yeah. in thinking there's something wrong with our protagonist. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. Take he's, a spooky drawing. He's a bit of a Muppet. If you know what I mean. We know the Muppet you refer. Yo, is this shit locked? What do you think? That shit is totally locked. Lock's broken. Welcome to Silent Hill, where, oh, like... Oh, damn, son, that door just went... Hold on, there's a thing on the door you can take. Is that another... Child's drawing. Is that poor thing drowning? Yes. Awesome. Yo, do you think this shit's locked? I can't even interact with this shit. It's not even a door. Not even a door. Real fake doors! Yeah. Oh, jeez! I can't get through right now. Okay. Hmm. Alright, so which door is the real oh, door? Wait, wait. Yeah, I just gotta be in a very specific part of the floor. No. Oh, doesn't even matter. Shit's locked. Shit's locked, son. Huh. Oh, it's a fucking... It's a lamp. I yeah, it that door kind of... ain't opening. What about you? Nope, shit's in front of this door. Shit's Can't in open front this, of this one. one. This one's blocked. Yeah. There's shit back here? Shit's, shit's back blocked. Here. Shit's blocked, son. There's this door, I suppose. Or did we already try this I, door? I think we did. I mean, I can check the map, but I'm a man. I don't need no maps. Yeah. This shit's broken, son. Yeah, shit's broken. Shit's, shit's locked. Broken. And Pretty this, sure this shit's locked too. Well, Check this, your map. I was gonna say, this At this is point, we're mechanic. fucking, we're gone. How do map? I don't fucking know. Ah, I got it. That's why. Oh, there's like. Okay, so there's apparently two more doors down yeah. this hallway that we haven't checked yet. Yeah. All right, so let's go find the shit that ain't locked. Yeah. All right, so we tried that one. Oh. Oh my fucking god! Is it this one? It's jammed. <laughs> well, I mean, like... Yeah, I, I, I suppose so. <laughs> yeah, I probably should have guessed that. Yeah. Alright, so it's fourth time's in a charm. It's not incorrect. I think you actually have to try all the doors before something happens. Maybe attack that. Yeah, come on, Mav. Use your... F nope. <laughs> nope, it's expertly fighting back. For some reason, you can't seem to accomplish anything in this awful pseudo-sexual hell. Pseudo-sexual hell. Yeah. I think now, if you try the door, something will happen. Start the door at the end? Yeah, the the elevator that the kid ran into. What did he just say? Faint sound of water something something? Okay, guess not! Oh, this one actually does show you your approximate position. Oh, right, I can't get through here right now, I forgot. Oh, wait, push button. Ah, oh, son of a bitch! Well, obviously. Elevators do usually need buttons, yes, that is a truth fact. Yes, elevators do do that. <laughs> hmm. You don't think they do, but they do. How do I function this elevitus? Well, this seems like a logical button to push. Just really pick one at random. Yeah. Although we've got like the semi got a shit Macho Man squat going on. Yep. Oh fuck! It's just a What's... shadow from the back of his head. I thought he had a mullet, and I was gonna be like, "That's too much, man." Oh no! Something's happening outside the elevator. Don't worry, Mr. Paratrooper, you just cut him with your knife. Yeah, that's what you'll do. <laughs> yeah, just Eat cut shit. him with your knife. Eat shit! 